Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Hollowitz from TonyTheTeacher.com and 365ActTips.com. My tip now is about groups. This is part two of groups. And what I've suggested in my previous tutorial is that the best way to start working with groups is to forget about groups. Just completely forget about them. My experience has been a lot of people use groups in the wrong way. And this is what I'd like you to focus on before you ever start working with groups. There's a field in ACT right here called the ID status. And this field is, in my opinion, the most important field in ACT. Because it shows or it allows you to define every single contact in ACT. So, my experience has been that almost every contact in a typical business database or ACT database can really be categorized rather easily. And my experience has been, it can be a very few items in this drop-down. For example, it really is about five or six things that you can choose from. For example, every contact in this database, I believe, can fall into one of these categories. Client, employee, new lead, and I'll discuss that another day, prospect, Tony, and the reason I use Tony is because Tony is anything that's personal. I didn't want to use the word personal because I'm only trying to use words with a unique first letter. I could have used friend, but that can be a little misleading. So Tony is anything that's personal. And then vendor. So again, I believe every single contact in ACT can be categorized in these ways. Now, I have one here called New Lead, and that's really if I'm working with a contact and there's a real sales process going on. I'll just call them New Lead so I can find them rather quickly. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it at Tony. So the first step for anyone that uses ACT is to make sure that every single contact in ACT has an ID status. And I'm going to do tutorials on that a little more in detail later. But it, as always, if you have questions, reach out to me and I'll give you an idea for the best way to go about doing that and also some best practices for moving forward. So the first way you want to think about groups is to forget about groups and first focus on the ID status. Every contact should have an ID status because then you can easily find people by just simply going look up ID status and choosing whatever you want from the drop down list. My name is Tony Hollowitz, and in the next tutorial, we are going to get a little bit more into groups, groups part three. Thank you very much. Have a great day.